Now we can go back. Let's look and see what else they need at their ministry. Um, go back up to the top here. Not the top, but just a little bit higher up. So stage displays. Yes. Current slide, next slide, clock, video countdown, worship timer, start service, all done. Check. What they, they do currently live stream. So they need a live stream output. We got to set that up. So they're currently using software like OBS or Switcher or something like that. And they want to do lower third lyrics, lower third scriptures, lower third slide text. And uh, let's see here. Video of the service. So we got to figure out a way to make sure that when they're playing a video in service, it'll show on the lower thirds. But also when there is a um, when there's lyrics that shows and when there's scriptures that shows. So let's go back in to free show. We're going to do something similar to what we did when we first set up the primary is we're going to create a style. All right. But the first thing you do when you're creating a style or a look, you got to go to your templates. All right. And you create the template or you find the template. In my case, I've already created a bunch of templates. If you need templates, you can go to my website. You can download a lot of them. Um, and I will show you the ones that I would recommend. I've got some lower third songs. I got some lower third scripture uh, and lower third uh, presentation uh, templates as well. Let me see the lower third presentations. That was not available on uh, on my website yet, but these are so lower thirds for songs but you can also do the same thing by default ones as well so if we go to uh let's do all i believe well maybe it's under songs let me see yes yeah, so they got one here that's just blue you can do that it's got a nice little gradient they got another one with another gradient and the this one's just plain white you can use any of those as your lower thirds for your songs and then for your scriptures uh, they got some default ones here as well. So they got default for this and a default for that. We'll use the default ones for today because that's what we want to do. So we've got a scripture lower third. That's got an orange um, reference. And then we've also got the white box with black text. And then we'll do songs. We've got a white box with black text. All right. How do we get that? So we know the template is there. That's the big thing. So the way Free Show works is it equips you with pretty much every type of template that you need. And then you go and you duplicate those and make them look the way you want. If you want to customize it, and uh, for example, with this scripture one here, this orange, you might say, I don't want it to be orange. I want it to be green. I want it to be purple or blue, whatever the color is. You can't right click and edit it, but you can duplicate it. And you can change it. So I've got this lower third scripture number two now. I can right click on that and go to edit. And now I can see that whole template where I can edit it to be whatever I want. I can select this and I can change that color. That's an item. And you'll see the color of the item there. We can make it be green. Okay. So we'll do green for now. So now we've got that there. Let's go into our settings on the upper right. And we're going to go to styles. We're going to make a style for our live stream. All right. First thing you do is go to new style and we're going to select the option that says live. Now, by default, it automatically changes your background color to green. This is important if you're using hardware like an A10 mini switcher or something along those lines. Someone earlier uh, in a comment told me they're using like an OC switcher. Um, I forget the name of it, but if you're using hardware that's using a, a, a hard line, like a HDMI signal um, to, to get this into a device, you're going to have to have color to it because it's not going to lend or send transparent backgrounds. All right. So that's what that's green. OK. Now, it automatically also does something else. It makes the active layers. The background is automatically off. It's disabled. And then the slide and overlays are active. OK. It limits your text box to have just two uh, lines in it. And then it defaults to a lower third override for your template and a scripture lower third for your scriptures. And it's already there. But we want to use that, that one that we make green instead of the one that defaults to be orange. So let's go down and let's look for that. Um, the one that we made here. And so right now it's this scripture lower third. Let's make it be the green one. So we can select the one we designed and kind of just updated the color. Okay. So I can close that out. And now I've got the lower third scripture or scripture lower third number two. All right. 
and it's down here. We're editing this one. It's called Live by default. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to call it Live Training, and I'm going to put a number two with it. All right. So we've got this style created. What do we do with the style? Well, a style doesn't stand on its own. It has to be directed to an output for it to be applied. So it has to be applied to an output. It's almost like um, your output is the body and the style is the clothes. So you're putting the clothes on your output to make it look the way you want it to look. All right. So this outfit is going to be for a live stream. So it's got lower third stuff and a green background and all that fun stuff. So we're going to go to our outputs now and we're going to select a new output, which is what you would likely do. I've got some here already, but I'm going to make a new one. I'm going to call it new output. And it's going to be normal as opposed to stage. And then I can pick. I got my live training too. I got a beginner training. We'll do the live training too. And it shows you a preview of what it looks like. And then we've got this big green screen there. Okay. Now, here's the deal. For this, I'm going to call it uh, live training uh, we'll call it just live two, and I'll put training at the end. All right. Not to be confused with this one. All right. But we got this live two training, but I really want to use OBS. They said they use software, I believe for their live stream. They said they use a software solution, so they don't need the green screen. So what we can do is we can go here and we can enable NDI that allows your computer, um, free show to talk to OBS. And when I did that, I turned it on. It automatically enabled it to be transparent and an invisible window. And we can send the audio to it if we need to, but you might not need that. So we don't need the audio. We'll keep it off. And notice what happened to my preview. It went completely blank with little checkered squares on it, right? That just means that you can see through it. Okay. Now, what do we have to do to make it be visible? We can go to the show and we just click on the slide and check out what happens. The in-house sees that, and the folks online see that. Now, for them, they see it at the bottom with the words, but at the top and everything else around the screen is gonna be images or video of whatever the, the camera is showing, whether it's the entirety of the, the stage or maybe it's a close-up of the, the speaker or the worship leader, whatever's on camera is gonna show up there, okay? But you might be saying, Gary, these are boring slides. I would completely agree with you. How do you make your slides in free show not look boring? Even though you've got a template on them that you like, the background is boring. You can adjust that by going to the media option and you can change it by going to any backgrounds you want. For me, I've got, you can go to options to say online. If you go online, you'll see all kinds of options here for you to search from. Um, you got YouTube videos, Vimeo, Pixabay, and Unsplash. Let's do Pixabay and Let's see here. Right now it's summertime, at least as of recording this. I want to do something that makes me feel cool. I like the snow. So I'm going to do snow. Let's do, um, I'm going to do a search for it on the right side there. We'll do a snow search. Okay. And with snow, everything is a lot brighter, which is fine. But I like these mountains here. So the mountains are cool. You're looking for ideas. And for me, I like white text on a dark background or I like dark text on a light background. My template already has white text, so I want to keep it that way. I'm going to see if there's anything that has snow, but also kind of a, uh, this has got a nice little overcast to it. So I like this feel. So I can take this image and I'm just going to drag it up. I can drag it up right there and it goes in the first slide. And now when I start my show, it has my talking points, but it has that beautiful snowy background there okay and that looks great as far as i'm concerned and i can go to my next slide with the scripture and it has a little bit of transparency so you can see it a little bit easier even if it is a bright background which is really nice as well uh, and then i can arrow over to the right and it goes back to my next talking point which is pretty visible there as well if you pick a picture and it's not uh, dark enough or it's not bright enough for you you can always right click on that image and edit it. And when you get to the option to edit, the main thing I would look for, if you're looking to adjust the way it looks in terms of brightness and all that, you're going to select the option that says filters. And here we've got this brightness option. You can turn that down if you need to, right? I like that. 
It just darkens it up a bit. And then you also have the opacity, which makes it more see-through. With us having a black background, it makes it to where it looks like that. Uh, another option would be to lower possibly the contrast. So you can lower the contrast and it kind of just washes everything out. If you turn it this way, it makes the darks darker and the, the lights brighter. So I would keep the contrast right where it is. All right. And you can do other things with this. You can change the hue um, and make a different tone to it if you want to. For snow, everybody knows what color snow is, so it's going to be kind of hard to do that. But for other images that are generic, abstract, that hue rotation really is a lifesaver. All right. And then we can blur it. This is another way to kind of make it have some um, some ease of viewing. And I'm looking up here at my preview. That doesn't look bad with it with that little bit of blur to it. I'm going to pull it just a little bit more. And if you notice, that makes it to where people can make out what's going on in the background, but they also can see the talking points pretty easily as well. So we've adjusted our background. We've got our mountains with the snow. We've got our talking points, easy to read. I can arrow through, very easy to read. White text, we've created our own contrast, but we've got a little bit of a darker background, all right? So now the slides are not boring. If you wanted to have more of an abstract you would have to download those because you can get these Pixabay and Unsplash pictures for free as long as you have access to the internet. But you can also download your own to your computer. And I've got some here. You can get these off my website as well. Um, on my computer, i got them called YOLO box files. Uh, but if I look here, it's doing a search that's active for snow. I don't have any pictures of snow. So I'm going to clear that search. And now I can do an a, a, a idea of what I've got. And I'm going to do just some grunge backdrops. Uh oh, I accidentally selected one, which is fine. But these are some grunge backdrops. If you want those, you can go to my website, GaryBJr.com. Feel free to purchase those if you like them. There's all different kinds. And these are really cool to change the hue of them if you wanted to. So if I right click on this one and I edit it, and go to filters, and you want to change the hue, you can make this be a purple, orange, green grunge, right? It, it can kind of spin around and be all kinds of different things. And you can get the preview of it up there real time while you're doing the sliding. All right. And I kind of like it like it was. I like that blue feel, the kind of distressed feel. And we'll go to show and we can come back to our show here. All right. And so it automatically changed there, but it didn't change on the show. The show still has this, these mountain caps. The reason for that is because if you remember, I dragged that picture onto the first slide. Whatever you drag onto the first slide tells Free Show, hey, I want this to be locked on to this show. So every time I open this show in the future, because remember, this is a library uh, that it saves them in. It saves them all to your program. It'll always pull up these mountaintops. But I can also quickly change the background like I just did here. This is what the audience is seeing. But as soon as I go to another slide, guess what? It defaults back to our snow-capped mountains because... That was a temporary fix. If I go back to my media tab and I want it to be permanent, I've got to change it out with that first slide and I got to make it be the new background image. All right. Now with free show, when you make those changes real time, you dictate when your audience sees them. And so right now the audience is still seeing the mountaintops, but everyone, the slides just changed. Remember I told you, this is like a production program. It's not just PowerPoint where you got to turn off the program to make changes and then restart it and turn it back, you know, relaunch, relaunch your uh, pre presentation. You don't have to relaunch your presentation to change the background of the entire presentation. You just have to simply hit this update icon right below your uh, preview and it'll automatically change your show. All right. So if we go here, let's see here. If I hit update, it should change. If I go to the next slide, it'll automatically change. But with that update there, now you can see that it's there. All right. Uh, for many of your changes, you can just hit that little refresh looking icon and it'll automatically update. OK, um, I can change this to be a different color. Now it's orange. But as soon as I go to my next slide, it defaults back to what we said we want this show to default to. All right. Now, Galatians is all black. It doesn't have any default um, background to it. So now when I go to here, that background stays. That distressed background is still there from my previous show. And that's okay. That's expected and that's the goal. So it keeps it pretty seamless unless you want it to be obviously different. So in free show, 
your shows. The, the best way for your shows to have a unique background is to put the background on each show that you want because you might want to add a video background to it. They said they wanted motion graphics and video backgrounds. So now let's do, for this one, this is talking about freedom. We'll do one that has some water. We'll do a background that has water. Um, and I'll go back to my files down here under media. And let's look for video backdrops is what I've got a folder on my computer called video backdrops. And actually, I've got another one called, um, I think it's called Story Loop. Here we go, Story Loop. So there's a website called Story Loop Backdrop. It's not backdrops, but it's called Story Loops. This is where I got a lot of different backdrops that I like as well. And so let's see here. I don't know if I got any water. Yeah, I got some water in this one. All right. So what I might do is something like, I like this one here. It's called Sherbert Ray's Glitch in 4K. And I think that fits for this because it's got a little tinge of red and we were saved by the blood. So I'm gonna drag that background on here. All right. Now, when I go to one of these, let's see, I don't know if, if I hit update, doesn't do anything. If I go here, it automatically changes the background. Check that out. Now that is pretty cool. That's hard to do in PowerPoint to have it do that. But now every time I go to the next slide, it's automatically there. All right. And it shows up with the scriptures down here and that backdrop doesn't change, all right? It stays there. So that backdrop has this watery red situation, but our training show has this distressed background here and it automatically goes back to that for that show, all right? So your shows own their own background, which is really cool. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe and I think that's great, but my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that. And that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you or things that were left out that you still have questions about and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that want to grow together. So until next time, God bless.